But uh, yeah, no. So I ended up I ended up making Sheboygan Who Knew. It's a short film about Sheboygan and uh, all the little intricacies that make our town unique and stereotypical and its own little version of amazing. That's so cool, Gabe. Tell us about what makes Sheboygan uh, unique. Well, I mean, it's kind of funny. Like, I guess in the in the in the the film, I, I'm very. Uh, I make it kind of seem like it's <clears throat> completely like stereotypical and everything, but uh, yeah, I think, I think Sheboygan definitely has this this charm to it, this unique charm. Whenever you go to it, you know, mm-hmm. it's, it's a spot that I don't know. I have a lot of great memories with. Um, I know a lot of it's mm-hmm. a big big tourist place and stuff, but uh, yeah, you know, yeah. we got our big draws like the lake. You know, we got Eighth Street with Lake all- Michigan, mm-hmm. yeah. And we got yeah. A Street with all our different little locally owned shops, which are all amazing. And, you know, I'd very much recommend to go check them out 100%. You know, as much as I wanted to make this film about Sheboygan, I also wanted to, you know, to be like, get back to the local businesses. Make sure you get over there. And yeah. Get, you know, they, they need that. And, uh, yeah, no, I just, mm-hmm. I, really, I really love Sheboygan. You know, as much as I kind of playfully bash it in the film, you know, I think it's yeah. definitely a great place for me to have grown up and for anyone to really grow up or, you know, spend time in, you know, even if it's just for like, like a, like a weekend or something, you know, I think yeah. it's like a perfect little getaway. So. I've never heard anyone ever who, I lived in New York for a long time. I lived in Chicago for a long time. I was born in Minnesota, but I made Sheboygan my second home about 18 years ago. Nice. Because I swear to God, Gabe, the first day I drove to Sheboygan, I was like, I wanted to buy a house and be a grown up, right? <laughs> which is questionable, but I wanted to buy a house and be a grown up. <laughs> um, and I was like, okay. So I was looking around and uh, I was doing my master's degree in Milwaukee. And I looked up just up North because we're only 45 minutes, 50 minutes North of Milwaukee, of course, for those who you who don't know where Sheboygan is. And I drove here. And the first day I drove here, I'd never been downtown Sheboygan. I was like, I'm buying a house here. I'm done. <laughs> Sheboygan's cool. It's got all kinds of really cool art vibes. Mm-hmm. It, you know, doesn't it? It really does. I think it's the lake. Yeah, no, I think yeah, there's something to it that I think draws a lot of artists to the area. And I feel like that's only increased mm-hmm. as the years go on. You know, I feel like there's so many more yes. places to, to make connections with people and to get your art exposed. Yeah. You know, like you mentioned, Paradigm mm-hmm. is a great place to just even just like yes. you know, coffee, but also just meet some really amazing local people. Really and truly, you know, as you know, we're having the Ryder Cup here in Sheboygan, which is remarkable in itself, the world-renowned Ryder Cup during our film festival. We're not having our film festival during the Ryder Cup. The Ryder Cup just happens to be having that Ryder Cup during our film festival. They heard that, they heard that the film festival was here, so then they decided to right. well, use the Ryder Cup. Yeah, if they, that must have been how it rolled. It must have been. <laughs> uh, all kidding aside, I mean, Kohler is amazing what they do. The Kohler Art Center is like truly, when you come to visit Sheboygan, you have to visit the Kohler Art Center. The one downtown Sheboygan and now the one outside of Kohler, the brand new one. Ruth Kohler did so much for Sheboygan, Wisconsin. I mean, she was a force to be reckoned with. I take my hat off and, and you know, ask God to bless her in heaven because we just lost her last year and she made Sheboygan she put Sheboygan on the map literally with the arts and she did it her entire life Mm -hmm. so um you know we stand on the shoulders of people like Ruth Kohler really and Stephanie H Wild Center you know Stephanie H the the woman who did that and all the people who helped um and your mom's really cool too she's an artist she's you know she raised an artist I really like her she's a hipster she works down at on 8th street Mm-hmm. she's a musician dj i like you her. know there's a lot of <laughs> <laughs> I like keeper i definitely do she, <laughs> i love i love i love that lady she's she's amazing she's very much into that that whole community aspect of you know bringing people together and just she's at the yeah. heart of it and you know again you know very much one of my inspirations for everything i do related to art so fun so you know what i i i get my stuff in dreams which those of you know me have know that about me. I'm a weirdo and that's what I, and I'm a God girl and I'm non-judgmental God girl, but I get my um, ideas in my dreams. And I woke up the other night and I swear to God, I was like, I got to tell Gabe, 
we're, what we're going to do for the, this film festival, because there's so many beautiful seats. Seven H Wild Center is like 1100 seats. It looks like a Broadway house. It's gorgeous. So I want as many people to come to see our filmmakers in your film as possible. So I'm just like, I'm just going to let everyone come for free. Yeah. And you I know? because that's how we do right just everyone come for free this is not a money-making adventure this is like support the arts right i mean i and you, you know what guess what for some reason when you do it that way you always get blessed because for you know it just works like you as a you know up and coming filmmaker you get it you just do what you are supposed to do and and poof you get taken care of you know yeah. Really and truly. Uh, I genuinely think as long as you're you're very passionate in what you do, like you're making the art yeah. for different reasons, it I think people will respond to that, you know. And I don't think it's all about, you know, totally. someone to respond to it, but I, I think as long as you're making it for yourself and it's something at the end of the day you can be like, I really like this, then I think that's really all that matters. I, I agree with you, but do you make it just for yourself? I mean, I understand, I totally agree with you, but do you, do you make it just for yourself? I mean, I think all of my ideas definitely start off as just like little fleeting ideas that I have. And I'm like, man, I just want to chase this down, no matter how like yeah. how different it seems. Cause you know, it was interesting in my film class, like I think so many of my peers were really kind of taking it more like literally the assignment, like, oh, let me go find something and give the exact history of this thing and like kind of, you know, right. do more traditional documentary style. But I just thought it'd be interesting to kind of turn it on its head a little bit and give it my, my own little spin. Cause you know, I, I'm not, I, I don't, I don't really know if I consider myself a smart ass, but I can definitely be a little like, um, <laughs> a little sarcastic a lot of the times. So I don't know. I think it, I think it was a, a good representation, not only like what Sheboygan is to me, but kind of an extension of myself to like who I am as a filmmaker. It's very cool. Tongue in cheek. You totally <laughs> pull it off. It's right on the edge. You guys will love it. It's, it's right on the edge of, um, you know, I call it tongue in cheek. It's, it's, sar it's not really sarcasm because sarcasm to me is negative. You're just being funny. It's funny. Thank you. I like you take this stereotype. I think it's, I saw it. I was like, bah, <laughs> right. I mean, you take this idea of this, it's not a tiny town. I mean, there's in the area, there's a hundred thousand people, mm -hmm. but it's a very, you know, it's a small town. It's Wisconsin. It has its own colloquial kind of feel to it. And uh, the people that have lived here their, their entire life and haven't really felt a need to leave aren't, they're not by any stretch of the imagination, um, podunk or all those stereotypes. They just, you know, who wants to leave Sheboygan? You got the lake, you got a, a thousand bars if you want to do that <laughs> you have every church you want to go to great yeah. school says school sheboygan was voted like top 10 place to retire in the world oh, not the world the united states That's yeah that i've and, thought about a lot i'm like i would love to end up back in sheboygan one day you know i'm right now i'm currently living in milwaukee for for school because i'm going to uwm but yeah, yeah no, cool. definitely one day you know after exposing myself to different experiences i, I would love to just like kind of and back in a place that I'm, I'm comfortable with and that I know and that I know will treat me well. Yeah, that's a nice way to put it. You know, I like what you said about that fleeting moment where you just want to, you know, you have to, you have to grab that fleeting moment, that idea that you have. And, you know, my company is called Sacred Noise Society. And that's what exactly what Sacred Noise Society is. <laughs> exactly. That fleeting, that sacred noise, that fleeting voice, that little, that shh, if you don't catch it, it's hanging right up there. And to me, I call that sacred noise. And so, you know, art, we all know what that is, as artists, right? And it's really weird when you don't catch it, someone else, someone else will catch it. And that's okay. Mm -hmm. Because, because there's also a wealth of abundance of those fleeting ideas in your life. I think so. You know, I definitely think yeah. I, I agree with that. Well, I'm so glad that you're going to be a filmmaker and I'm so glad that you're our, I call you our freshman filmmaker, <laughs> okay. right? Because everyone else is seasoned. What are, are you excited to have your film up on the big screen at Stephanie H. Wild Center? It's definitely going to be a huge moment, I think, not only like career-wise, but like just, just a huge yeah. moment for me, you know, like getting a chance to see that. I know my parents are, are, gonna, are very excited for it and 
yeah I'm, yeah i'm excited for them to see it up on the big screen and now that now that it's free admission i'm gonna probably see if i can get a lot of my friends to go too cause... yeah tell your all friends come on over and put it you know i i wear like a little like a cool jacket too if you can't see this but it's like a tuxedo jacket because we're doing red carpet dude so so put your cool on you know because we're gonna be lots of pictures you're it. you're cool anyway but i mean it's like you don't have to to come to the festival because you know I'm going to wear a super sparkly dress because I'm, I'm like that. I like sparkles <laughs> and I'm the MC. <laughs> so, but you know, it, it'll be a fun moment. We get a bunch of amazing pictures online from our, we just finished our film festival in, in Spring Grove in Caledonia. And, you know, the great Ed Asner was there and we lost him, you know, only two weeks ago. And so um, I'm going to do a tribute to him. He was, he was a wind beneath a lot of people's wings and he was a stellar human being. And so we're going to do a tribute and he's smiling on you because he, he was a great champion for the up and coming people and underdogs and all those type of people. And we're all underdogs in filmmaking because it's a hard thing to do. Right. I think so. Yeah. No, yeah. You know, it's, it's hard to get noticed. Yeah, I think I don't mind being the underdog. I think that's the perfect place to start off. You know, it's, you got mm -hmm. nothing to prove. You're just, like I said, you're doing it for yourself and you're doing it to just explore it and, you know, see what you're going to make, you know? Right. Exactly. It's a good thing. It's, it's, it's a good thing to, to do the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. I enjoy uh, supporting my filmmakers and making films myself. So I'm so excited to have you. I will see you uh, come and come, come early, help us with all the back behind, come have some sandwiches in the green room. We have a green room. It's really fancy. <laughs>